Now you might notice this smoke that I'm dealing with right now. That's for two reasons. A, I'm really close to the fire and therefore I'm causing a vacuum. Uh, smoke is a byproduct of the fire which is consuming oxygen. That oxygen is being consumed between me and the fire causing a void. Now as you can see the smoke is starting to die down. Now I'll get back to what I'm saying, sorry. Now this smoke here that's coming over and choking me and making my eyes water wasn't here a second ago, it was pointing that way. And before that it was over here. So it's been going counterclockwise back to me. Even with this nice hot fire we're getting quite a bit of smoke. And that doesn't make a lot of sense because the wood is fairly well seasoned. It's ash and maple, which are pretty good burning woods. They burn nice and hot. And this is a hot fire. And you're always going to have smoke regardless of how well you burn and whether you take the bark off or not and how long you stand it and let it season. You're always going to be dealing with smoke. But what I want you to notice is how it's billowing quite a bit down here. And it's not necessarily going straight up. This is caused by several things. First and foremost, we have a draft. There's no actual concentrated heat source. This is not like a wood stove or a fireplace. The second reason is because I'm so close to it, all the air here has been consumed mostly by the fire. And therefore it's got a vacuum and it's going to want to constantly billow close to me. The further back you are from the fire, the less smoke you get. But the third reason and the primary reason, this is what this video is all about, is this is a weather indicator. If you notice the flames are staying low as well. Even though this fire is burning very well, the flames, smoke and ash and embers are all staying very low. And that's because we have a front coming. Specifically a low pressure front. And the reason I know that is we've been listening to thunder off and on for about 30 minutes now, give or take. This is a good way to indicate what kind of weather is coming your way. If the smoke is traveling nice and straight up or it's just being pushed by a slight breeze, likely it's going to be fair weather coming. But if you're getting it billowing down low and the flames are staying low and the smoke is staying low, especially the smoke, and it's staying low and it's being billowed around usually counterclockwise, coarse, rough weather is coming your way, usually thunderstorms. So in the summertime when you're out camping with your friends, you notice the smoke is hanging really low. I mean in the summer, in the fall because low pressure is common in the fall because the temperatures are dropping. This is not as good of an indicator, but coming into summertime, this will tell you while you're out camping with your friends up in Killarney or Algonquin or Banff that, hey, a storm might be on the way, let's get our gear put away. This is an easy way to know what's coming your way.